Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NewCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about the ReadLine module. Now what the ReadLine module allows us to do is prompt the user as well as get user input. So to get started we're going to have to require the module. So I'm just going to say const ReadLine is equal to require ReadLine and this is going to bring in our ReadLine module. Next, we're going to have to create an instance of the read line interface by using the create interface method. So I'm just going to say read line dot create interface. And within here is going to take an object. Now we're going to give this object two properties. And this is basically our configuration file. So the first property I'm going to give it is input. And then we're going to give it an object. Now this object is called process. Now process is a global object, so you don't have to require it. It's already given to us by node. And then here we're going to say STD in. Now input is going to be the STD in input stream. And then here we obviously need an output. So I'm just going to say output and we're going to give it process.std out and that's going to stand for output stream. Now when this method is executed, it's going to return our read line interface object. So let's save it inside a variable so we can use it. So I'm just going to say const rl is equal to this. Now let's say I want to ask the user what two numbers added together are equal to. So for this example, I'm just going to generate two random numbers between 1 and 10. So I'm just going to say let num1 equal math.floor math.random and we're going to times this by 10 and we're going to shift it over by 1. So this is going to give us a random number between 1 and 10. Let's copy this twice, paste it, two, and we need the answer. So I'm just going to say let answer equal num1 plus num2. All right, so now that we have this, we're ready to ask the user what these two numbers are equal to. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to use our read line interface. And our read line interface has a method called question. So I'm going to say RL question. Now the first argument is going to be a string. The second argument is going to be a function. And basically the first argument is going to be the question we would like to ask the user. So I'm just going to say back tick. What is num1 plus num2? question mark and I'm just going to hit enter here because I want you guys to see this on one line and we're going to include our callback. Now this function is going to get the user input as a parameter. So I'm just going to say user input. And for now, I'm just going to print out user input onto the console just so you guys can see that it's actually working. So now if I was to save this, head over to my console, type node app. It's going to say, what is four plus two? I'm going to say banana. And there you go. It prints out the user's input. It's important to note that if you take a look at our console, the application is still running. So I'm just going to hit control C to break out of it. And what we need to do is actually close the read line interface when we're done using it. So in order to do that, let's actually add a couple of things. First thing, I want a new line right after this question mark here. So I'm just going to say forward slash n. So when I prompt the user, the user's input, instead of lining up right next to it, like so, is going to be underneath. All right, so I fixed that problem. Next thing I want to do is actually test the user input to see if he actually got the answer correct. So in order to do that, I'm just going to say if user input 
And it's always important to trim the user's input if you ever accept anything from a user just to get rid of the trailing white space. And we're just going to say if the user's input is equal to answer. So if they answer the math question correctly, I want to close the application. So I could say rl.close. And here, and now if I was to save this, and now execute the program. So I'm just going to write node app is going to say what is 10 plus 4 and I'm going to answer with 14 and you can see that we answered it correctly and therefore our application closed. Now what I want to do is actually add a listener to the close event. Now the read line interface is actually an instance of the event emitter class. So what we can do is actually scroll down here and I'll add it towards the end. And I want to say rl.on. And basically I'm going to say, hey, I want you to listen for an event to occur. And I'm going to say close. And we're going to give it a callback. And this function is only going to execute when we close the read line interface. So now I'm just going to say console.log. And basically, I just want to let the user know that, hey, you got the correct answer. So I'm just going to say correct. So now if I was to save this and now execute it, node app, what is 6 plus 3? I'm just going to write 9. You can see that correct gets printed out onto the console. Now, correct gets printed out onto the console because when we use the method close, it emits the close event. And since we're listening for a close event, this callback function gets executed. And on that note, I better add a semicolon on there and let's save that. So now that we handled what happens when the user inputs correctly, what happens if the user uh, gets the wrong answer? So in order to do that, let's create an else statement within our question method here. So I'm just going to say else. And what I want to do basically is reprompt the user. So I'm just going to say rl.prompt.setprompt. And setprompt is basically going to take an argument of string and it's going to ask the user basically what you want to know. So I'm going to say to the user, incorrect response, please try again. And let's add a new line here. And now in order to use the prompt, I actually have to call it. So the first method is to set the prompt. The second method is going to be to call it. So I'm just going to say RL prompt. So now I'm just going to hit control S to save. And now I'm just going to execute this node app. And it's going to say, what is one plus five? And then I'm going to say banana. And it's going to say incorrect response. Please try again. Now I actually haven't told it what to do once the user inputs. So let's actually write the code for that now. And what I'm going to do is actually add a listener to our read line interface. So I'm going to listen for the user's input and the event for that is rl.onLine. And then we're going to pass it in a callback. Now this callback is going to have the user's input. And now we're going to decide what to do once we get the user's input. So obviously what we want to do is check if the user's input is correct. And if it is correct, we are going to close the application. And now what happens if it isn't correct? We're going to say else. And then I'm going to reset the prompt. So I'm just going to say rl.setprompt. And I'm going to say Let's actually make this more informative. So I'm just going to say your answer of, and then we're just going to print out what they wrote. User input. 
is incorrect. And we're gonna do a forward slash. And before that, I'm just going to say, try again. So now let's end that. And now remember, once we set the prompt, we actually have to call it. So now I'm just going to say rl.prompt. And now if we just take a look at what we have so far, this is basically going to give us a loop. So we set a line event listener. Now when the user enters input, that's going to trigger this line input. We're going to test to see if what he gave us is correct. And if it is, we're just going to close the application. And if we close the application, this on close method is going to execute. It's going to say correct. So now let's see what happens if we give it the wrong value is going to execute the else statement. It's gonna set the prompt, your answer of so-and-so is wrong. And then it's gonna prompt the user again. And basically this line event is gonna keep executing until the user enters the correct input. So let's actually take a look at this in action. So I'm just going to clear the terminal and before I execute, let me just save, control S to save. Oops, control S to save. And now I'm just going to hit node app and it's going to say, what is one plus four? And I'm going to say banana, incorrect response. Please try again. I'm going to type banana again. Your answer banana is not correct. And you can see that this will go on indefinitely. Now, if I go back up and let's actually see what it was, what is one plus four? So I'm just going to type in five. And you can see we get the output of correct and then it exits the application.